Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting in my room. Um, I've just edited the Valhalla video, the next Valhalla video. And I decided to just quickly shoot this portion or the segment because in the video you will see, or maybe you might not see, maybe it's just me because I know myself, um, but I'm just not myself essentially. You'll see that my eyes are a little bit puffy and I just wanted to let you know what was going on in my life at that time and why I was like upset um and basically I shot this in October 2020 like early October and at that time we had had a meeting in the office where I previously worked and they had notified us that there would be a round of retrenchments and being in the environment of COVID and not having um and having so many people like becoming unemployed it was just such a scary time especially because at that point we were already on 50% salary and we had been on 50% salary for like three months or so um so it was just very like it was just bad news after bad news after bad news and it was just overwhelming um so you will definitely see it in the video and my brain was a bit scattered during that video but I had already planned to shoot that video at that time with my sister and so I just like had to pull, put my big girl pants on and shoot the video and I just wanted to get the content at that time so please bear with me I look so like <laughs> out of sorts but you know it's reality and we all have bad days and so hopefully my videos give you guys some sort of release or relief from what's going on especially here in South Africa it's just been a lot to take in mentally like it's just one thing after the other and it's yeah it's very scary so I just hope that at least me trying to upload regularly although I'm not as regular but I am trying to <laughs> um hopefully you know my videos will give you a little bit of distraction but yeah before I continue rambling on as always I hope you guys enjoy this week's video of Valhalla and let me know what you think of the apartment so far okay hey guys so we are back on well we are on our way to Valhalla today the main reason I'm there is to look at some samples in the apartment because lighting affects a lot of things so you'll pick up undertones of various samples so it's always a good idea to go to site and have a look at all your samples before you make your final decision so I'm going to be taking some photos this morning and then I'm going to come back in the evening to take more photos for the client to send off so that they can approve it and then we can order the samples I'm also going to be updating you guys on how site is going concrete um, has been poured for the roof slab of the extension which is going to have a fabulous view of the ocean uninterrupted so the clients are really getting so much more than what they've paid for to be honest hey, you haven't been here in a while either Okay, so guys, right now I'm standing on the balcony. As you can see, they have started um, chopping up all the tiles um, for the balcony because we need to get the correct floor height for all our details. Behind me, they have all these toppings up because they poured the concrete last week Friday. It is busy curing and drying at the moment. It's going to be up like this for another week or so. So not much work can be done here, but you can see how extensive this extension is. Pretty excited to start seeing it coming together with all the glass coming in soon. If we look into the apartment, as you can see, they've started stripping the plaster off the walls and getting ready to start doing the internal shell, which is great. They've removed all the shop fronts. They are also preparing for the shop front fitters to come and take their measurements. We have to be done on site the end of November, beginning of December, because they have a no construction period during the months of December, Jan, Feb and March, I believe. So we are really pushing to get everything done before then. Let's just go into the sunroom. Is complete as you can see. All the steel work is in. I'm sure you've already seen that. The floor is done. You guys are standing. I'm sure you can see. You have another view of the ocean. It's absolutely incredible. And you are just in the middle of all the trees and foliage. So I think it's such a nice 
extension as well so what is next to come is quite a bit obviously all the shop fronts which are big ticket items that will be coming soon we just want to close up the apartment so that they can begin with like the flooring and vinyl finishes um, of course all our electrical still needs to be done they're gonna still chop off all the floors to get the correct level so there is still quite a lot to do in I think we have eight weeks left until December yeah we'll see how that goes but right now let us have a look at the samples that I bought with me and I'm gonna be taking some photos and videos for the clients so that they can approve so I'm standing in the main bathroom I know very very small but this was the client's request they wanted something super tight they didn't want anything quite big because their previous home in the states is massive so this space here in cape town is a lot smaller than what they have in the states right now the brickwork has gone up with just this bathroom so at the moment you'll see that this brickwork is recessed because we are going to have a recessed mirror cabinet and then above this, as you can see, there's an opening. There's a clear story window which wraps around to this corner. As you can see, the contractor had ripped that portion up, which wasn't as per our drawing or details. So he is going to demolish that section. Okay, but let's have a look at these samples before we leave. Not the greatest swatch i usually prefer it to be on a board that's thicker than just a normal piece of paper this is the port side so it's a stone that we are using for the kitchen countertops as well as the bathroom countertops this is a tile sample of the balcony tile from womag it's from afri stone by the way ryan is a great person to talk to if you're looking for marble, granite, any other composite stone, he's incredible, so talk to him. My least favorite, <laughs> vinyl. So we are looking at these several options for vinyl flooring. The clients just wanted something very easy to clean, zero fuss, something cost effective as well, and something that they can use in their bathroom, so it's seamless. And they wanted something that wasn't too cold underfoot tiles would be way too cold underfoot in Clifton and especially in winter so least favorite thing but you just have to give the client what they want so these are the vinyl options that we are going to be deciding between oh, one more. Okay. oh and then this is a sample of the duco sprayed doors for all the joinery elements one sample that we're missing which is the timber sample we don't have that yet probably will arrive only next week but we need to make this final decision asap they are closing their orders next week friday i need to make this decision pretty soon let me do the first one It's a little bit um, softer. It's always a good idea to try out the samples in different locations because of that. One last thing I need to check. Types of window opening. We are approving those drawings with Aggie Plan this week that they can start manufacturing as early as two weeks from now and it takes them about two weeks to manufacture and a week 
or two to install. So we are on a very tight schedule, like I said. Eight weeks to go until December, so we need to like, hurry up. Okay. So I wonder if that is the right height. Because it should be a one, but we don't have red floor finish. Right. Nando? Do you guys have a dating time for the floor finish? Just one meter. One meter. That so is one meter forty. So I can take forty centimeters. Oh, you haven't put the. Oh, you haven't put the marking in. Okay, I'm just going to have a look anyways. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that. Can you do a, a datum height here? Yeah, not do not you don't have to do it today, but by next week. Thank you. Let me check this piece. Four seven feet. Oh wait, this is so difficult. Okay, right now I'm just checking the window opening high. Three fifty. Okay, so who's right? Okay. Like I mentioned before, it's always good to check all your dimensions and demolition has been completed because certain things are always hidden in brickwork or in plaster so like right now i realize in my drawing i've shown that the window opening is going to be 250 but it's actually meant to be 350 so i was 100 millimeters off which is fine obviously because they haven't constructed it yet and this is why we do all these checks and anyways they also come and take their site measurements so at least that's ironed out so i know that that is now 350 and i can be happy now we are gonna head out oh, mm -hmm. the view again. It's such a pity that the walkway gets such a nice view oh look you can actually see the um, extension quite nicely on this side okay so that's basically a wrap for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned because i will be releasing more videos on the progress on this site if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time